This video tutorial is sponsored by Silverline Innovative Technologies. Make your software, mobile, and web solutions with the cutting-edge technologies with Silverline IT. Check the details in the description below. Hello everyone and welcome to another Fusion 360 tutorial with SA Studio. Today we are going to design a Hasselblad X1D50C4116 edition medium format, mirrorless digital camera. If you are new to our channel just watch our previous videos. I will put links in the description below, also put a card on somewhere. Let's first see how to make a lens for this camera. First of all, if we look closely at the camera lens, we can see that there is a certain shape in this camera lens. Here is how the lens of the camera I am designing looks like. You can see in this camera lens that this lens has a unique shape. Therefore, to get the same shape, we first have to draw half of the side view of this camera lens in Fusion 360 using lines. Here is the side view of the lens I drew that way. Once the shape is completely drawn in this way, select the face of the drawn shape, and then you can see the revolve option under the create menu in the toolbar. After selecting this option, a dialog box related to that option will open. So now you can see the shape that we selected before is selected under the profile property. Select this last line area as an axis. You should set other properties just like mine. Then click OK. For the convenience of further editing I divided the whole object into four pieces. You can divide it into many pieces for your convenience. However, there are the same steps that you should follow to revolve. Ok, now we are moving to the next part. Now, look at these resource images. You can see there are some cutting lines and grip on the surface of the lens. To make those cutting lines, select positions which you need to make a line. Go to the menu under the create in the toolbar. Now, select the pipe option. It will open a dialog just like this. Using this dialog you can modify and adjust the setting like section size, distance, etc. And don't forget to select the line and set the operation as a cut. Click OK. Now you can see the cutting lines applied on the lens's surface. Just apply the same manner to the other lines. Now we are going to make this internal hole of the lens in which light travels to the sensor. To make this, first select the hole option in the toolbar. Instantly the red color zone appears on your object. Correctly place it in the center of the lens just like this. Use this arrow to adjust the depth of the hole. And one thing, set drill point into the first option just like mine. And set other settings like this. Then click OK. Now we are going to make these grip lines. First, click on the sketch button and select the side view of your project. Select the point which you need to create the grip and draw the line just like this. After setup, all these changes then click finish sketch to finish previous adjustments. Make sure to center this line when you look at the top of the object. Use the rotate tool and change the angle of the line according to the angle of the grip lines. So, in my example, I created this grip like this, but it may depend on your model. To make this line into a pipe, go to the pipe option under the creating menu. After opening this dialog change the thickness as your choice and change the operation into a new body. Make this line sink half of the lens surface. Now select out new pipe object and go to create pattern and click on the circular pattern. After open this dialog, select the starting margin circle to set the path.
Now set quantity. That means a number of copies in this line. And then click OK. Then, select all the copied pipes and the lens object. Now click Combine to combine all of this into one. In the Operations section, select Cut and click OK. Well, now we have the lens. We will discuss how to make other components of the camera in the next episodes. So if you need to know or share anything leave a comment. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Don't worry our next episode will be coming soon. For now, bye, and have a happy design with SA Studio. Peace.